How's it going, everybody? Welcome back for some more Minecraft, where today we are starting The Machine, which is an absolute behemoth of a puzzle map made by all of these lovely people here, and it has over 100 levels, 30 custom soundtracks, it's voice acted, it's got new mechanics, it's got several different endings, and it's just absolutely massive, so I'm super excited to hop into things, see what it's all about, have a good time playing through it, and I hope you all are too. So I guess we should go get started, huh? Boop. The machine. Welcome. I was waiting for you. My name is Orica. I called you because my land is in huge trouble. The kingdom has the name Agathar. Usually, this place is full of life. But now, everyone is dead. They're all gone. Everybody was killed by the biggest enemy we ever knew. The void. It is still out there. And still dangerous, but we have no choice. We must stop it. Fortunately, I've got a plan, but more about that later. We cannot wait for much longer. Explore this land and its mysteries, and collect as many void fragments as you can. We will need them later. All right, seems pretty straightforward. If we, I guess we got to go collect void fragments. So we should get started. Level one, rewire. All right, let's see. We have a pickaxe, efficiency five, can break redstone dust. We've got a help glossary, travel to hub, void fragments. Looks like we have nine hub worlds, reset level. And all we got to do is boop, boop, boop. And we're good to go. Okay. Most of these in the first hub, I Fantastic. figure, are going to be tutorial levels. The fragment that was luring in this level. I can already feel the void getting weaker and weaker with every additional fragment you collect. Sounds good to me. Detour. I figure the level names are probably going to give some stuff away on some of them, I hope. Uh, I don't know how this works, but it says Q. Aha. Alright, so we can break a bunch of redstone all at once. Connect this. This is in the way. If I break that, where does it go? It goes down further. But it's still in the way, so instead... We need to wire it to this one. And then if we run around and we get past the first section, we pop, break it, we can go on past. Seems pretty straightforward. Brilliant. You see, you don't have to complete every single level, just enough of them to continue to the next area. Okay. Well, it's good that you don't have to do all of them in a hub world. I like that a lot. Let's see, so this one here, we've got a green, and since we have a yellow, I assume there's another one behind it. However, because we have the repeater there, it holds its own power, so I should just be able to do both, right? Keep circling, yeah, okay. Seems pretty straightforward. Doesn't seem like Hub 1 will take very long at all. Every completed puzzle generates a redstone wire. Okay. It's because there is no void fragment left in it that blocks it. So I must be trying to get enough to connect here, to enter there, and so on and so forth. Got it. The throw. Alright, grab these, carry on. An item has been destroyed. You can reset the level via the inventory. Alright, so let's reset. And instead, I must have to throw it up there and then run around the side. And we can grab all of these. Alright, so this destroys any items other than, like, the pickaxe and stuff. So, yeah, just gotta work around them. Well done. Just one more to go. Feel free to skip a level if it's too hard. A stone path on the ground tells you which levels are unlocked by which other level. So you have plenty of options. Oh, okay. I like that a lot. If one is just too difficult, you can always do another one. I like that. Travesty got consumed by the void. Okay. So instead, we run over, and I throw these over the void, and they're fine. So then I run around, and I boop, 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 boop. And we're good to go. But first, I saw this. What's back here? I can't actually get back here. 
Wait, maybe I can? What if I... Hello? Am I stuck? What is this? Got consumed by the void. There's gotta be something back there. What if I am more careful and try to avoid any void blocks? It's just if I get too close. Was there a void above me? I wanna know. I'm curious. I'm a curious boy. No, no void above me. Got void on either side. It's just a threshold, I guess. Okay, well, that's a shame. I wanted to know. Tell me your secrets, game. No, I can't reach it. Damn, I was hoping I could do it all from one side. So, nope. Don't get in so much of a rush that I'm just not placing them correctly. Go to the goal. Fantastic. You have enough redstone wires to open the gate to the castle. In there is an important tool that we need for the plan. Come and get it, okay? Alright, sounds good to me. Grab all the redstone wires, run up to the center here, open up the castle. Alright, we've got these on the threshold here, so I can't bring anything in. But I mean, it doesn't seem like I need to. Everything's supplied inside. Run onto the back. Grab all this. Actually, this isn't going to reach. And it's certainly not going to reach the blue, so maybe I can wire this across to keep yellow powered. And then we run back to the front and I grab all of these. Now maybe I have enough to do blue? Perhaps, if I don't get stuck on the wall. Oh, you can't do it on powered redstone. That's kind of disappointing. There we go, now we can get past blue. Ooh! Great. With this new pickaxe, you can break special cubes. Like those, next to you. I mean, seems pretty I straightforward. I have time to tell you about my plan. I am not only the queen of the Pale Nexus, I am also a pretty successful engineer. The problem of the void was well known in my kingdom, so I created a machine to catch it and keep it inside as a prison. The machine worked perfectly, for many decades, but then somebody came and manipulated it without me noticing. Just seconds Someone after that, caused this to happen. And overwhelmed the kingdom. I survived the attack and fixed the machine. However, the fight against the void weakened my body. I am not strong enough to collect everything I need for the machine on my own. That's why I need you. So go on. There's a wall of breakable cubes next to the castle that will lead you to the next world. Okay. I accidentally stumbled upon it anyways, but so we can go to the next world, which is Lacrobus. Or maybe because it's the first world and I want to fully experience it, we can just boop, do all of the levels here and then see what happens. Connection issues. I mean, let's see, let's start fresh. So, with only six wires, I'm not going to be able to make it all the way across. Because I'll need at least two there, two there. So instead... Looks like I'm going to have to make a... Yeah, there we go. i got to make something to hold my power. And then, actually, this isn't going to work. I can't move it up. Can't go here. Can't bring it to the side. If I go here instead, grab these on the side there, then bring this one up, bring this one down, then I break these, and we're just keeping a loop going until we can get to the end. That one was pretty straightforward, actually. I, I basically figure that any that have repeaters in them, it plans on us making an infinite loop of power with them. Break through. All right. Give me these. Let's see, we gotta power green. And I gotta power yellow to get to the back. So we'll power yellow first. We'll run around the side. And here's green. Oh, wait a second. 
So let me run to the front. And then we throw this over the void. And then we'll run all the way around to the back and grab that. Put it there. Run all the way back, and now I don't need to access the back anymore. So we turn this off. I power to there. And we're good to go. How many levels do we have left? How many more, game? What else you got? Show me your moves. Alternate. Okay. Let's see. Give me all this. It's a lot of wires on this one. Oh, and there's even more wires? What the hell? Okay, so 50 wires. Power and everything is right next to each other. So let's see. That moves it. It's just like the other level we did. That moves it to the middle. But then I have to break it to move back. So instead, what if I... I do this, right? And I come here and I break it. Then it moves back. So what I need to do is I need to have two different power solutions. So I need to be able to get here and have it powered, which means I'll need to be able to break it from back here. Right here should be fine. Assuming I can reach that, I can. All right, so now I bring this forward and we'll bring some power through this way. And that powers everything up. And then I actually want this not connected like that. And then I bring this here and I have this connected like this. And then I bring this to here. Like that. And I just do that. It's self sufficient. I break this one. It shuts down. I connect. Ooh, wait, no. I want like this. And then like this. And then if I do that, and I break that one. It's fine. But then, I, if I connect this one over here, it works. Okay. So we do that, we leave it as is. I do this, we trigger the power, it holds power. I run all the way around. I break that one. Power shuts down. I run all the way to the end. I add power. I keep going. And we're at the goal. Well, somebody's quite diligent here. You've completed every single level in Agathar. Don't forget to head on to the other worlds now. We really need to hurry. Okay. But we haven't done everything in Agathar because there's that up there. There was like an orange thing that you need to get past. Which I'm assuming to move I need redstone wire, obviously. Aha! Okay. So we have this here. But now... If I run back up to the front, we can actually close off the entrance to the castle. If I grab all of this and I run around the back. This is hopefully enough to connect. Looks like it should be. Alright. And now we run to the side entrance where there's the wall we can break. Right here. Then we head on up. And through the orange, we got two. Imbrication or hidden stairway. Eeny, meeny, miny, left first. Imbrication. Oh, it's like a void level. Okay. Let's grab all these. We got a lot of these to work with again. And then, let's see... I guess I can just bring this forward, make a loop, bring it back, and then connect here, and connect there. There's got to be more to it than that, but for now, that wasn't smart. Do a quick run around, follow the path, 
and we'll see how I need to change things again. So there's the exit. Oh, shifting action. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's amazing. All right, so the only thing I need to do, because the squares are off, the full cube is on, I need to turn off yellow. So we do a reset. And I'll run back in here. Grab all the redstone. And now I need to be able to turn off yellow whenever I'm done. Which means I'll need to be able to... Turn it off from a distance. So if we do this first, right? But instead... I break this here. And I bring this... Here. And then I make this a loop. I make this a bigger loop, actually, where I can cut the loop. Not there. I don't think. Here, hold up. Turn this off. How big of a loop can I make this? Here. That's good enough. I can reach it from the other side. And then I can break the loop and cut the power to the back end. So now I need to... Bring this up here and then across. And if I cut the loop, no, it still works. Which means I need to change it up a little bit. If I break all this first. And I bring this down, over, down, down, over. No, because I can't bring it up the side there. It has to go here. That's where it has to be. But then from out the front... No, because this will touch. This will connect. And I don't want it connecting here either. But I could do this. So I'm trying to limit the power as much as I can, basically. So it comes all the way through. It doesn't matter how long it is there. But that just gives me room to work with here if I want. Which, if the power is not strong enough here, it won't matter. So we do this. And then... No, because if they're touching, it's also a problem. If I bring it over... Here, it'll connect. And I don't want it to connect to the back here. Now, let's turn all this off for now. All right. So from here, we've got the we've got our loop. And I need to be able to kill that to cut power to yellow. But I still need green to be powered. Which means I need power to be coming from here still. And if I kill this, no yellow still powered. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. What if instead I can't bring it down this way? I mean I could. But then I'm out, so that won't work. Let's ignore this third one. I don't think I need to mess with the third one, and that gives me more wires to work with. Do this. Right there. And that still won't work yet. What if I... No. I could... Try to bring it this way first, maybe? No, that's still not going to work. I just need to cut yellow is the problem, but I have to do it from that wall. My green will still have to be powered. Which means it's barely powered, too. I just need, like, one or two extra distance. And it would be fine. But it can't connect to this one. Connect here, fine. And then from here, what if I broke this? 
and I brought it up further from here. Then I connect this, and then I give it power, and I do this, and we should be good now, actually. I shouldn't even, shouldn't even matter that I zap those. We should be able to run all the way around the outside. And then I should be able to just turn off yellow. All I gotta do is pop, and then we can carry on through all the way to the goal. Problem solved. That level was much more difficult. Make sure to not get into any trouble. Your death would ruin the entire plan. She can't track us in those levels, which is weird. But I want to continue doing them. Another void-like level. So let's see, now that I know shift is a thing, we've got green and yellow. We've got the goal up there, and I need red and blue on for that. So, if we connect, do green first, like this, ooh, okay, so we've got voids, let's run across here, so these are our blue and red, or orange, red, I assume orange is red, because I don't see a red thing anywhere. Grab these. And so now, I can't bring them back across any of the void things, but I need to get them to yellow. So what if I come down here? And then I... Throw it up top? Do I have another way up? I do have another way up. Okay. So we'll climb the ladder. And we'll repeat this process. We'll drop down. I'll throw them up. And hold up. We do that again. All the way around the edge. Climb up top. We grab all this. We connect it to yellow. And now we have a pathway across. So if we go across here. The problem is I need... I need at least nine wires over here for this to work. So instead, what if I do, let's turn off yellow. And then we'll drop them on this island. And then I'll turn on yellow. And then we'll run around across the the Zappy Boys. Just like this. Jump back across, and now we can turn on blue. And it seems like we may have to repeat the process, kind of. So we've got this here. Got a red down there if I need to bring any up. Because now I need to turn on the other one. So yes, what we need to do instead... Not blue. We need to do red. So we turn on red. And then I run back. Because we need to get the others over. So now we're going to turn off yellow. And we're going to run to this outside edge and drop down. And we're going to do the exact same thing here. And then we run all the way around the outside yet again. And we're going to have to do this twice so that we can get it up to the layer that we need to use it on. So we do this, we run around, I drop down, I grab all that, we throw it back up like that. Aha, uh -huh. hold up, go up there. Thank you. I think we're good now. We do this again. Run back across. And then we grab all of it, and I bring it back. No. 
Um, instead, I drop it all here. Run over, turn off red. Turn on blue. Run back. And we do the same thing to take it up a layer, and then we'll bring it down and around. So now we just boop, boop, bop, 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 throw it all up top. Nope, give me that. Thank you. Now we come over here and we climb this ladder. Run all the way down to the end, throw it up another layer, then go climb the ladder again. Maybe I'll stand a little closer to it. Just like that. Drop down, run all the way around. I hope there's not an easier, less convoluted way to do all this that I just didn't think of or that I missed. Alright, so now we run it back, I jump down, we turn on red. Just like that. And now we can make it to the end. So we're gonna jump across, don't miss any easy parkour jumps. All the way to our goal. And then we have someone new trying to speak to us, but they can't quite reach. That's a little interesting. Maybe there's more to this story than, uh, Auric has been letting us know. Hmm. Hmm. All right, and I guess that means we're done here. I said level completed. So now we're going to carry on to the second hub world, which is Lacrobus. I like the way this looks. I wouldn't think that the green would go so well with the, the sandstone, but this looks really good. I like this a lot. Hmm. Now, you know, the first episode was an introduction, a bit of a tutorial... It's definitely going to be shorter than the future ones, because I have to imagine that these levels are going to take a lot more time to do. But I think that's a good place to end it for now, to let everyone get a feel for the series. So, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.